this is me and oh my goodness, the day has finally come that I'm actually doing a new horse tackle. I am so excited for this. So let's grab the box. <laughs> So this is the box <laughs> and it's very big. Okay, so I have a lot of stuff to go through because obviously with a new horse, it's gonna need a lot of tack, a lot of stuff to wear and a lot of new things. So before today's video starts, I'd just like to say a huge, huge thank you to um, Lumia and Horse Health for very kindly gifting me everything in today's video and sponsoring it. So. Let's get opening. What's the first thing inside? Okay, so first things first, um, I'm going to show you um, Joey's new head collar and I went for the peacock green colour because oh my goodness this is so gorgeous. I think this is going to look stunning on him, especially with him at the moment being like a steely dapple grey. I think the dark grey on here as well is going to look so beautiful on him. Um, I just love how um, soft these head collars are, especially on the nose band and also the lead rope that matches as well. <laughs> Next, yes, we do have another head collar. This is one of their um, leather and anatomical ones. And this is just so beautiful. Um, I decided to go for brown because this will also match his um, saddle. And I love how this is gold as well on the buckles and the headpiece here. It's just so squidgy as well. And it has their little logo on um, and it's nice and thick as well. So it's gonna be so comfortable for him, especially the nose band as well. Because um, yes, <laughs> he does need two head collars. I always like for my horses personally to have um, um, like a colourful one for fun and then also to have a really posh fancy leather one this will be great for um, eventually <laughs> when I take him to shows take him to outings we go out and about in the van probably not for a while but um so yeah I think this is gonna look so nice on him so the next couple of things are boots for Joey and I have quite a few boots in this box because leg protection is so important especially as we're going to be jumping quite a bit um so here I have some of the Lemur impact tendon boots so these will be great protecting his legs I went for these in brown um just because I thought these would look really nice again with his brown tack um and I'm gonna open up the box because these look so fancy <laughs> oh my goodness these are so nice um these are gonna be so good for when we're jumping i love how they have the little poppers as well and it has the lumia logo on here and oh my goodness it has so many vents which is brilliant as well especially in the summer you do not want your horse's legs to overheat um, oh, it has impact responsive gel. That sounds fancy. So yeah, these are gonna be so good for when we're jumping. And then also, if I pop these down, I have the back boots as well. And then these are what the fetlock boots look like. And oh my goodness, I just can't get over how soft and squidgy it is on here. Um, this material is so cool. And then I just absolutely, I'm in love with these poppers. They are so easy to do and like undo them, do them up. Great for when you're in a rush as well, especially going to things like shows and stuff. You never know <laughs> when you need to be on, so you can just quickly pop them on, pop them off. Brilliant. <laughs> I am also really lucky that Lemia also sent me the exact same boots but in black as well because um, Joey and Casper, I am so lucky that both of them actually wear the same size boots so I can actually mix and match. Although Joey is a lot bigger than Casper, he's quite fine, with, like his legs are quite kind of skinny and Casper's quite chunky so they both actually have size medium or size cob so you can do a little bit of mixing and matching depending on um, what colour I want to have my boys in. 
And yes, I have some more boots here. These are the Pro Shell brushing boots. And these are gonna be absolutely fantastic for when I do flat work with Joey. With him being five, he's still kind of growing into his legs a little bit. He's still a little bit, I keep calling him baby legs because sometimes he can be a teeny bit clumsy and sort of bang his legs together. So these will be absolutely brilliant at protecting his legs as well. And how cool are these little vents here as well? Again, you do not want your horse's legs to overheat, so these are gonna be brilliant, especially for the summer coming up. And then on the back here, we have these faux leather kind of straps, and they just look so gorgeous. And again, with the Velcro, really easy to do up and undo. Now you might be thinking, Esme, there can't possibly be any more boots in this box. But you're wrong, <laughs> there's even more. So here I have a brand new set of travel boots and I absolutely love this bag they come in. This is so cool. This is going to be great for like packaging them up. So if I undo the zip, I'll only get one out. If not, I'm not going to be able to hold them all. Um, so I think this is the back boot because yeah, that's where the hock goes um, because the current um, travel boots I actually have are completely destroyed. I've had them for years and um, these are going to be really good for when we're going out and about, probably again, not for a little bit. Um, also, I love how there's this faux leather material again on the bottom, which actually um, protects the horse's hooves a little bit as well, especially kind of around the coronet line. Oh my gosh, there's a bit here as well. These are so protective. And then also, again, we have the Velcro. I think they also come in some other colours. I was really struggling between choosing the navy or the black, but I did choose the black in the end just because I thought, you know what, it's gonna go with everything. <laughs> I love this bag. Like, this is just gonna be brilliant for storing them away, but especially because um, the van, we, <laughs> um, there's quite a lot of hay on the floor in the van, so this is gonna keep them nice and tidy and clean. And the little handle as well. So cute. <laughs> all right, so now we've finished going through all of the boots. Next, we're on to sort of our travel stuff. Um, so here I actually have a new tail guard and um, I absolutely love these. I prefer them so much more to tail bandages for protecting a horse's tail when you're going in the trailer or the van or the lorry, um, just because it's kind of more even pressure all the way throughout. Also, it's so easy to do up and undo with the Velcro. Okay, so apart from this tail guard being super protective, especially as Casper always does this thing where he leans against sort of the back wall of the van and then sometimes his tail, like, because there's like rubber matting on the walls, can sometimes go a little bit black because he's been rubbing his butt against it, um, just where he's kind of been leaning and things. Also, um, if your horse does do that as well, if you, your horse has a really fine sort of tail, it can, um, cause some of the hairs to be ripped out as well, which again is not good, so it's always good to protect their tail. Um, but also, inside here, it comes with this bag as well, and I feel like for shows and sort of special occasions and outings, this is going to be brilliant for me, having not one, not two, but three grey slash white slash cremello horses. Um, because Joey does have a white tail at the moment and I would not like that to be yellow. So this is a little tail bag that you can attach to your um, tail guard, a tail kind of protector, and it keeps your horse's tail clean. <laughs> And next, I have a new rug for Joey. And again, I am so lucky that Casper and Joey both actually have the same size back. Like they're both six foot three. Even though Casper's smaller, Casper's confirmation he has like a long sausage body when Joey's proportions are about right. So it's funny that they actually fit the same size rug. So this is the Thermacool rug and I just feel like I'm gonna be using this so much, especially when traveling, um, after summer rides. 
off, well just after most rides to be honest because um, if your horse does get quite sweaty I always like to pop a cooler on him especially after I've washed off the sweat with some water. If you put it on it helps wick away the sweat and the water and just makes sure all of their muscles along their back are kind of all the same temperature. Helps cool them down without getting too cold as well so it stops them getting chilly once they've been a bit sweaty so I'm going to get it out. Also can we just talk about the packaging again? Like. Most rugs, when I get, I don't like to, I don't usually keep the bags, but these bags are so gorgeous. This is gonna be great for packing up for when we go places and things. So yeah, this is so cool. Okay, let's open it up. Where is the front? <laughs> it's so big, I can't find them. Oh, cool, so here, oh my gosh, yes. So instead of having, buckles which take forever to do up and you're trying to get it in the hole and things like that we have the clickers guys okay that's gonna be so good um so yeah that's brill oh and it's also got buckles as well so if you do want to adjust how long <laughs> the straps are you can if you want to and then um okay <laughs> This is super big. I just feel like the whole screen's gonna be black. Like, bye guys! But yeah, the material of this just feels so high quality. And again, I couldn't decide between the navy or the black for all of his travel stuff. But you know, I thought black would just look really good with um, Joey being a dapple grey and being quite a dark grey at the moment as well. Um, so yeah, I thought the black would go with everything. And oh, this is cool underneath. I didn't see this. Whoa, this material, oh my gosh, this material is so cool. Oh, so this goes, I think this goes along the back. Oh, that's so good, because this is gonna be the bits that's like most sweaty and most wet. That's such a cool idea. Also, something I love is that it's got this really soft, fluffy material at the front as well, so it's gonna be nice and soft on their weathers. Okay, let's try and fold this up, shall we? <laughs> Okay, so the next item I feel like will be very fitting for me, again, for somehow and some reason getting another grey. I have a new grooming kit. Um, so, oh my goodness, this is so cool. This is gonna be so brilliant for shows and things. It has so many different pockets. I could put plating bands in here, put my little spray bottles. It's got so many different pockets. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, so let's open up and see what's inside. Oh, wow, I have so many brushes. Okay, okay, where do I start? Okay, so the first brush I have here is a rubber curry comb. It's also kind of more like a massage brush slash comb as well, because I absolutely love using these, especially in molting season as well, in the season coming up, because this is great at getting some of the hair <laughs> and coat to just go away, because I feel like it gets absolutely everywhere in the spring. Um, it's also really good for massages as well, especially after a hard ride. Um, your horse will very much appreciate a brush like this, so that's gonna be brilliant. Okay, what else do we have in here? And we have another rubber curry comb, and something I love about um, these curry combs is that they are really good at getting the sort of dry mud off, especially when it kind of clumps up and it's really difficult to get off with sort of the more softer brushes, so this will be brilliant for that as well. Um, especially as the sort of mud is all sort of dried where we are here, we are so lucky that we've had some sunshine, finally. Um, so there's a lot of dry mud around. Um, it's also really good for um, doing it in a circular motion and it just lifts up some of the dust and things as well. Um, also, it has Velcro, like how cool is that? So depending on how um, skinny or fat your fingers are, um, it makes sure that it fits your hand nice and well. So yeah, that's so cool. Ooh. Okay, so I've just had a little feel of all the brushes. <laughs> and I think this is the dandy brush or the sort of stiff 
brush because this is the stiffest out of all the brushes. So my horse is being field kept ponies as much as they possibly can be. Again, this will be brilliant. These brushes are nice and stiff, so they're going to be brilliant for getting rid of some of the more um, difficult mud that likes to stick to them. And I love how um, it has the little flexible bits here as well, so you can really move your hand depending on um, the shape of your horse. Because obviously horses are not flat, especially when you're doing the booty. You know, it needs to go around a bit, especially when I'm doing Casper as well. But these will hopefully be my nice show fancy kind of competition, special occasion, not for using on the bog monster <laughs> brushes. Okay, so which, which brush is the next stiffest? So this is also, I think, I don't know, it's difficult to tell, it's quite stiff, so I'd say this is probably more like a dandy brush, but I, I love how there's like a variety of different stiffnesses and how soft the brushes are, so again, for the difficult mud, this is gonna be brilliant. Okay, now we're going on to the softer brushes, and oh, this is so soft. So this is more of like a body brush, I reckon. Um, so it's a little bit softer. It'll be great if your horse is in a stable, which mine are currently at night, um, just because of um, the coldness and them being a little bit on the chub side. So we need to make sure they don't get too overweight and restrict their grazing. Um, but yeah, this will be brilliant as well. And then lastly, oh my goodness. This is the softest brush I think I've ever felt in my life. Oh my goodness, okay, so they are gonna love this. This is so nice and soft. This is gonna be brilliant for doing the horse's faces with as well. Um, so yeah, Ooh, that's just, it's just so soft. I could use it on my own face. <laughs> and lastly, because my horses seem to love bringing home everything and anything from the field. So I have a lovely mane and tail brush for getting rid of, I've had pine cones in Casper's tail before and it's like, how do they even get there? Um, so I have a new brush for their mane and tail. This is the Lemire Heritage Tangle Tidy and um, I love how these sort of, I was gonna say bristles, but they're not quite bristles. Um, the little comb, <laughs> the comb, <laughs> the, what do you call it? Anyway, I love how the little kind of bristles, you know what I'm talking about, they're not actually straight, they're kind of um, bent or like jaggedy, which is really cool. So I feel like that's gonna be really good at getting out of, some, get the knots out as well. Um, so that's such a cool idea. So thank you very much for the new grooming kit. I feel like this is definitely gonna be used a lot, <laughs> especially when Joey goes whiter and I just want him to stay gray. <laughs> Okay, I was about to say I think we're done, but we are not done yet guys. It would not be a This Is Me Tackle without a saddle pad. And Lemire has definitely caught on of that, so we have we have a new matchy set guys. New matchy set alert. Whoop whoop, okay. <laughs> All right guys, I finally have a navy Lemure saddle pad. Um, this again is one of their um, suede, close contact sort of shaped ones. And it's just so pretty for clinics and shows and just like special occasions. I feel like the more neutral tones do look really nice. Um, so this could be really nice for a show um, because it's navy and I, oh my gosh. It's just so pretty. <laughs> and it's actually so cool how the navy saddle pad actually has the matching navy here on the girth protector. And it also has the navy D-ring sort of straps as well. Um, so I just feel like Joey is going to rock the navy. <laughs> and you know me, it's gotta be matchy matchy. So I also have the matching ears here as well, the fly ears. And oh my goodness, how cool is this new thing that they're doing? They've got um, the faux leather or the PU leather on the front and what it does is because this is a little bit heavier as well I think it's weighted a tiny bit so it means that um when it's sort of a windy day we've actually had quite a few windy days here recently it's a little bit more weighted so it doesn't flap up as well which is brilliant um also I love these stretchy sort of lycra material ears which is brilliant um and also oh my can we just talk about this for a second how cute are these hangers? I have never seen hangers for um, fly hoods or fly ears before. Can we just take it off? Because I want to see the hanger. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's literally got little ears on it. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. That's gonna be great for hanging up in my little wardrobe. That's so cool. 
But oh no, the tackle doesn't finish there because we have, yes, another matchy set. Okay, so this is the Champagne Loire Close Contact Saddle Pad. And oh my goodness. Now this one, I'm definitely gonna have to keep for like special occasions. How pretty is this? This color is gonna, again, look stunning on a dapple gray. The quality is just fantastic. Like, this is gorgeous. I love the little D-ring straps here as well. I love, it's so soft around the edges here as well, the sort of suede material. And I love how it's got the binding and again, the girth pre protector. And also, if we go under here, it's just so soft. Like, Joey, you're gonna be pampered wearing this. Like, he's gonna look like such a king. <laughs> And again, with the matchy matchy, I also have the fly hood in the Champagne Loire. And I just love the satin material on the front. It's so pretty. I also love how it's got the Lumia logo on, again, in the metal. And oh, it's just so pretty. Like this, he's gonna look so cute. Um, again, Champagne will be a brilliant colour for wearing on special occasions. I think I might also have some beige breeches somewhere that will match this as well for some matchy-matchy. Um, but yeah, shows, jumping clinics, special occasions. He's gonna look so cute in this. Can we buy these hangers somewhere, please? I would love that. <laughs> okay, everybody, before today's video ends, I'd just like to say a huge, huge thank you to Lumia and Horse Health for very kindly gifting me everything in today's video and sponsoring it. I really do appreciate it. Um, Joey is gonna be such a lucky horse. He's kitted out with such lovely stuff. Um, I'm so grateful for them very kindly sending me everything. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I'll see you all next time. Bye!